Welcome guys. Welcome guys. So uh, this video, uh, we are try just trying to uh, provide a simple example, basically the, the real analysis, which uh, if you just do the uh, change the variable, then the integration results will not be the same. Okay, so it's very, uh, this, let me just recall the theorem. So basically it's the Fubini theorem or Tonelli theorem. So better if we be continuous. Uh, from a to infinity, right, and uh, c to infinity. So I should say d, this one. Okay. So this is f x y, and these two integrations. So one is j y, one is j star x. So just one just integrate uh, along y or in, along x. And then suppose that the two of them are both uniform convergent on every finite interval, and also uh, every finite interval of y and every finite interval of x. And uh, at least one of the 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 iterative integral is absolute uh, convergence, then the integral will be the same. So basically, uh, basically if there are, so basically the 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 main message is that if there is is uniform convergence and both also absolute, if you take absolute value, and at least one of them is is convergence. Then the inter the iter and the iterated integral of convergence, then the value will equal. Okay, so basically, if you want to prove, if you want to give a, a provide an example which does not satisfy its property, the most easy case is, is that you you provide a function which which this one will goes to infinity. Okay, so a simple example is basically if I take x f x y to be x squared minus x x y minus x squared was plus x y x squared plus y squared is squared. Okay, now if you do the dy integration, then you will get this. And if you put y to be infinity, then it will be uh, 0, right? Minus uh, y put 1, so 1 plus x, uh, 1 divided by x squared. And this is our our, fam our uh, familiar friend. Basically, uh, this one, this dx divided by 1 plus x squared is arctangent x. Okay, so if you put 1 to infinity the for first one, then you get the minus pi over four because infinity is basically pi over two, and the one is uh one is basically pi over four, so you get the uh, negative pi over four. But you see this f of, this f of x is basically uh anti-symmetric with respect to x and y. So if you exchange x and y, then you get pi over four. Okay, so one can easily check that if you take the absolute value, then this uh, integral will blows up. I will definitely blows up. Okay, so this is a very short example that uh, I, I find is very interesting in the real analysis, uh, especially when the, when you uh, in the calculus that everyone tell tell you guys that the, the dyds can be exchanged. Okay, I think it's it's uh, good for today, and I will see you guys in, in the next video.